All right, YouTube. One Seneca 5 Continental engine. Brand spanking new. At the spectacular cost and she ain't running quite right. And uh, she ain't responding to the usual setup of tweaking in the mixture. Idle mixture and generally adjusting it. This is a slightly unusual it's a continental engine, but with the Bendix RSA fuel injection. Now these, the, the, the uh, older continentals with the continental throttle bodies are notoriously finicky for setting up regarding pressures, high and low pressures and and uh, tweaking being out of adjustment, but these are not, these are generally good and she ain't responding to the usual, the usual tweaking of the mixtures. So, usually we got something else. They don't give a lot of problems, these. Um, air leaks, they hate. Now we're dealing with a problem in the idle and below 2000 range. So if we're looking for an air leak, we're looking for it this side of the throttle body or this side of the butterfly because it'd be sucking in air. If it was misbehaving up in the range where the turbo comes in, where you got pressure in the manifold, you could be looking for an air leak anywhere on the magnetos, on the, on the uh, pressurization bits and pieces. But she's acting up between idle and 2000 and Air leaks wise, she looks pretty good. The other possibility is a plugged injector. And guess what? We got five nice rich spark plugs. And one pretty lean spark plug. So, who are we gonna suggest? We have a plugged injector on number two, number four cylinder. Um, this one's slightly lean as well. I've taken this one out. And I'm thinking because this is a constant flow system, there's a flow divider here. If you get restriction in one injector, it just forces more fuel into the other five. I'm thinking, I'm hoping that's what's happened. But uh, we'll see in the morning. All right, there's the two injectors. I get my little overnight steep in some of the old methyl ethyl ketone. I've taken all the rubber bits off. And a light blow in the morning, not more than 30 psi. With luck, should be good to go. If not, we just persevere until we find the problem. Thanks for watching.